Hello guys, so we're talking about Vitalik's latest idea that is both exciting and really extremely terrifying. Now this idea could be the next idea that pumps us up in the next bull run. It could possibly drive the next bull run. Now this comes from a paper that Vitalik re uh, released and his friends, right? E. Glenway Puja O. Olhava. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for butchering your name, but yeah. And Vitalik Buterin. They released a paper outlining a new creation that they want to bring on to, to, to the blockchain. And that is soul-bound tokens. Yeah, soul. Like your soul. Like I want to own your soul type of a thing, right? Now, these uh, coins will serve as a simple way that they are non-transferable NFTs. So they're NFTs that someone can put in your wallet and you can't take them out. So the way to think about it is almost like an identity solution for blockchain. An identity solution for blockchain. So they can start off within communities, right? Like when the Hex community, Pulse community, we, we kind of know each other for the most part. So we can have an, an authority or, 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 or several different uh, validators who can send those tokens to, to, to prove that you are part of the community, you are who you say you are, and you, you get those NFTs. Now, this will allow us to do a lot more things that we can't do, right? Uh, the way to think about it is this. The world is built on trust, right? Everything, all the systems we have are built on trust. When you go to the restaurant, you trust that they'll give you good food. When you go to the pub and you, you get a drink, you trust that you're going to get... You trust that no, that the, 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 the bar owner is not going to spike your drink, right? Everything is built on trust. Lending is built on trust, right? They can You, you show them your pay slip, you show them all that other good stuff, they can lend you money with no collateral. The whole system is built on trust. But in the crypto space, we can't do it because obviously people can take money and run off with it. But if you have an identity solution, if you have like an NFT that, okay, that proves that you are reliable, you're trustworthy, you can be able to access uh, several things, right? You can have under collateral... And uh, loans with no collateral, right? Someone can now lend you money because you they can see that you have that NFT, so it proves that yes, trustworthy. I can give you that NFT. You can, uh, you can. It can be used to to authenticate art, right? That okay, this art comes from uh, this wallet with this NFT. That means this is an authentic artist who made it. That's the authentic artist, right? Uh, whoever that may be. So these. Identity solution NFTs are extremely powerful. They're actually a missing link that we don't have in crypto, which allows us to compete at par with centralized institutions. It allows you, it allows us to be able to do. It, it unlocks a lot more utility and more, a lot more use cases that puts us at level with all traditional financial systems. However, this also is very terrifying because it seems like it could be something that you can, it's a way to usher in the social credit score, right? Just like we, that, like what they have in China, a social credit core where, where score, where if you're a good boy, you get the good boy NFTs. If you're a good girl, yeah, you can get the good girl NFTs also. And uh, as long as you behave well, you get those good NFTs that allow you to access certain privileges and certain parts of of, of certain things of society in society and the reason why i think that it could it could lead to a social credit score system is because once you have a system once you what you get to a point where you've got 10 percent of the world population having these uh soul bound nfts yeah and the name sounds dystopian as well soul like i want your soul right soul bound nfts once we once 10 percent of the population has them businesses can now easily say well if you want to access uh, our services show us your your your, your soul bound NFTs and then you can access these services. So it does bring in that kind of a system, which could be really really scary. However, the exciting part is that it does unlock a lot of more utility in the crypto space, and these things can attract more people, and they can uh, and if they bring more people, it can definitely pump up the price. Because here's the thing. Uh, crypto always you you're always looking for the next thing right the next thing that's going to drive up adoption the next thing that's going to drive up price appreciation it's 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 like before we've started off with just bitcoin right which is send and receive right that was exciting that brought in all the libertarians that brought in all those uh people like okay uh i, I hate money printing i just want uh to, to own my own money, sovereignty, all that stuff. We brought in the, those people. Then we have DeFi, right? Now you can actually have financial transactions uh, on the blockchain. Then we have NFTs. Now we're attracting artists, right? Artists, you can sell your art. You don't have to be a starving artist anymore, right? Then you have, uh, now we have gaming, right? Now we have metaverse. So we're now getting deeper into the gaming ecosystem. We're now getting deeper into all of that stuff, right? And when you talk metaverse, right? Now you're talking about not just stimulating different senses, right? The metaverse is stimulating eyesight uh, ears and i don't know maybe you'll be able to get some smell in the metaverse at some point i'm sure someone will create that so we're always going to the next step next step next step now soul bound nfts will be attractive because if you are a person who who didn't have access to the financial 
ecosystem, the world uh, financial ecosystem. You don't have a bank account. You don't have all that stuff. Now you can have access on the blockchain. And now you can access credit, right? Now it, it opens up so many more doors, right? It definitely decentralizes it. But the long-term effect of this could be massive centralization. Because when you get, after you have a lot of people benefit, so this could grow the, the ecosystem, You it can easily be manipulated. You can get to easily a point where you now say, okay, people without the NFT such and such cannot access these services. People without this cannot do this. You could easily get to that point. Now, obviously, this system is not perfect. It's still in the early days, but there is definitely, it's it's like, I think if you check out the paper, I think it's, 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 it's well, it's a pretty long paper, right? <laughs> and a boring read, I would say. <laughs> but Richard, uh, sorry, uh, Vitalik Buterin did some interviews where he spoke about uh, his soul-bound NFTs and what they're trying to achieve. And I do think that the intentions are good, but uh, the long-term effects of this could be not so good. All in all, uh, let me know what you think about these soul-bound NFTs, right? I do think that they have the potential to pump up the price. I also think that they have the potential to bring in new, new people into, in, into the ecosystem. And I do think that in the short term, they've got massive impact of disrupting governments. Because now all of a sudden, uh, if, if you're in a, in, a, in, a, in a country that's restricting your, your financial freedom, now you can just access it on the blockchain, right? And now you can have your... your, your I, I, you, 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 you're soul bound NFT there and you can raise money, you can start anything, you can, you, you, yeah. So I think in the short term, it'll definitely disrupt uh, governments. But in the long term, these tools in the wrong hands, they can be really, really have a really negative effect. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about these soul bound NFTs. Are they going to drive the next bull run, right? Or are they not, right? <laughs> thank you for watching and see you again next time. Remember, not financial advice at all.